What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today is a very exciting day if you're an Android fan. Today Google has just released Android Q beta number one for the Pixel, Pixel 2, and Pixel 3 family of devices. I went ahead and installed the beta today on my Pixel 3 XL, and I want to talk to you guys about the five user-facing features that you're probably going to notice once you get Android Q. Now the first one is a pretty basic one, but it's also one that we've been waiting for for quite a while, and that is a system-wide dark mode. Now unfortunately, the system-wide dark mode doesn't really have a way of turning it off or on. If you want to do that, you have to go and do some ADB commands, uh, or actually turn it off or on before you flash the beta, but hopefully eventually Google will bring the ability to turn it off or on. The problem with the uh, mode right now is that while it works in some apps, it also looks terrible in other apps. For instance, Google Photos, the dark mode looks pretty terrible. You can see there's white at the bottom, there's black around the borders, some really weird things going on here. Um, I'm not really sure what, uh, but Google probably will get the first party apps updated when it comes out closer to the stable release. There are gonna be six different beta releases, so there's a while to make things work. Uh, you can see that the notifications for the first party apps like Hangouts do show up in sort of the dark mode format. Now the next thing is battery life in the quick settings. So you notice right here in my quick settings drop down, it gives me an estimate of how much battery life I have remaining. Two days and one hour remaining based on my standard usage. So the Pixel tries to learn your usage over time, of course, using the adaptive battery that was introduced last time in Android P. Uh, and this is sort of carrying over and giving you an estimate in the quick settings. Um, that's definitely a nice touch that I like quite a bit. You'll also notice when it comes to battery, uh, on the always on display, the battery percentage has now moved up here to the top, uh, as you can see right there. There's also some other changes with always on display. Uh, down here, you'll be able to see things like your commute time, other things like that, sort of little changes that you'll notice here and there. Now the next thing that you probably noticed about my Pixel 3 XL is that it does have a different font. It also has different accent colors here in the quick settings than what you're used to seeing. This is another thing that Google has introduced Right now it's buried in developer options, but I'll show you really quick where you can find it. If you go into System and Advanced, find developer options once they're enabled, scroll down to the very bottom of the device, and you'll notice right here, accent color, you can change the accent color, green, black, purple, device default, which is the blue, headline, body font, default, or the uh, note of serif, which is what I'm using. I don't think it looks very good, so I'm probably gonna switch back. You can also change the icon shape, teardrop, squircle, or rounded rectangle. All of these theming options are things that we expect to see expanded a little bit in the stable version of Android Q. Right now they're a little limited, um, but being able to change the accent color here in the quick settings is definitely a nice thing, and it's definitely something that I like to see. The next thing that you're gonna notice when using Android Q right now is the swiping when you use your notifications. Right now, if you swipe left to right, you now get snooze options here. Instead of having the notification disappear, you've got snooze, you also got sort of the alerts right there to turn notifications off or on. Of course, if you swipe the other way, that will dismiss the notification as usual. So that's also another subtle little change going from Android Pie to Android Q. It's something you're probably gonna notice on a day-to-day -day basis as you start using the operating system. The final thing is something that people have complained about in Android quite a long time, and that is the share menu within apps like Chrome. Uh, previously on Android Pie and other builds, when you use the share feature, it was very slow, the menu took forever to open, and also when you actually share something, it wouldn't do the appropriate action in the app. For instance, it wouldn't copy a link. Now everything works a lot more fluidly. If you go into share here, you'll notice there's actually a little quick setting to the thing that you shared with last. So if I tap on that, it'll automatically copy the link to the website and put it into a tweet for me. Also, if you just open up the general share menu, so if you go back and you want to go into the general share menu, it's a lot faster. You can see the link appears right there at the top. You can also share it in all of the apps and still copy the clipboard if you're interested in doing that. So this seems like a big change, something that Google has obviously heard feedback from people in the past and they decided to make this change in Android 10, which is going to be Android Q. Anyway guys, there's a lot of other features that are sort of security focused, privacy focused, uh, some desktop mode, a lot of things that aren't quite finished, but those are the five features that I think are the most user-facing. If you download the Android Q beta, those are the things you're gonna notice right away. 
This is a little unstable, like I said, the notifications, especially dark mode, doesn't quite work perfectly with every single app. So I would recommend holding off for that reason. Um, there's also some app crashes, things like that, because it is a beta. In a couple more beta releases, it'll be more stable, probably around the time of Google I.O., and that's when you can really flash it and maybe use it on your daily driver if you're interested. Anyway, guys, I'll have a lot more coverage of the Android Q beta as they keep coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon if you want to see future videos like this. Find me at Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.